So guys, the first step to structure a design is for you to do general arrangement. So let's say this is the design, this is the design that the architect has given us for us to do the structural design. The structural design. So we'll do general arrangement for for this for this structure. But let's say let's say this is structure that we are going to use here. So we we'll make we we'll do the general arrangement for the structure. So let's get into it. So now this is a floor plan. We have the ground floor and the first floor. So what I do, the first step you do is you make a duplicate of this. Copy selection. Yeah, and copy a duplicate of this. And you delete all these dimensions of it. Erase. Erase. In this thing you can work with this so the next thing you are going to do is you see make a copy knowing that this one is the ground floor and this is the first floor then I select the whole of this and change the colors maybe I'll give you red good so the next thing I'm going to do is I'll now copy copy this first floor and paste on the ground floor so I'll select from the cut from a corner from a corner from a common point a common come on please someone here somewhere there good so now I can see my I can see my grease I, I can now see my columns where I can now see my columns where I can now see my columns. I can now see where my grease will pass and where my grease will not pass. So the next thing I'll do is I'll put grease layers. I'll pick, I'll pick a line and I'll draw. Make sure that this is on auto. I'll draw down, select it, move it upward, then copy selection, copy here. I'll copy there, copy at the end, copy at the end, yes, I'll also copy here, good, you can see, I have my vertical grease, then I'll see, pick a line again, copy here, select this one, drag it to this side, copy selection I'll put a grid here I'll put another grid here I'll put a grid here I'll put a grid here I'll put a, a grid there I'll put another grid there alright that's good if if you have any if you have any issue you can always open your architecture a 3d to take a look at what you are working with good so this is what we are working with you can minimize it come back to the design that is if the design has 3d so the next thing I'll do is let me move this away yeah so the next thing I'm going to do here then I think I need to still need to put another grid somewhere here. Good. The next thing I'll do is I'll select this rectangle. Let's say I'll don't put it so far. Maybe here. I'll take it somewhere. Here. Yes, I'll pick a trim. 
tap enter trim round trim round trim round trim round good 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 so the next thing the next thing you are going to do here the next thing you are going to do here is you can delete this off and then pick your offset let's say you are having an ops let's check the width of this wall the wall width is 230 and then you now offset so the next step you are going to do is to offset this grid so you come to offset it's already 230 you type you can type 230 divided by 2 then you pick offset and drop to get the offsets so when you are done copying this so you now select the ones at the edge and delete you need to offset this one too offset this here too I'll copy this bring here then I'll offset it yeah the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our columns so but we are yet to delete this delete this good so we have this now so the next thing is to create columns so to create columns we use polylines we we'll left click on polyline come here then we can draw you draw the length of the the the, the width of the column the width and breadth of the column so we're using 2000 by 230 columns here for initial trial so now type 230 we we'll go down 230 we we'll come this side 230 and we we'll close this 230 so before we we can select it come to color here maybe we'll give it blue maybe the thickness we we'll give it 40 okay so but before we begin to copy it and paste where we want to have columns we need to create layers so now let's create layers to create layer you, you can either click here on layer or you type layer no, layer on your on your work environment then you click here see so take you to the first place so i want to create two layers we we'll create the grid layer and we we'll create the column layer so on here you see new you click you see this is highlighted even if you click somewhere else you can come back right click or you double come back double click on it now if you can double click twice you can give you a chance to edit it let me, let me go back and try again you come to layer or you tap layer on your keyboard 
you click on new see here you can now write let's say column that is a col column layer but if but if the architect has already named a layer column you may have to write something you think maybe column mine you can write column mine it's just just your stuff whatever you decide will work then you can see create another layer again right grid yes okay there's already grid and the layer name grid so i write grid, grid mine let's see good you can see select it and if you can double click this is locked if you can double click it if you can select this let's see if you want to double click on it you can be able to edit it here you can right click You can right even right click you set current that is if you want to work on that layer you can right click and rename it you can actually rename it but we don't want to rename it take this thing back to zero layer good so we can now cancel it so you can select all these grids not selecting this one open here you can type g come back come to grid see this is the one we created grid mine or click on it escape i think if you select this they are all on grid mine grid mine then for the column i'll select it come here type c it will locate column mine that was the one we created so now i want to copy this column now and place on our in our work place so we'll select it we'll do this size do this side we'll right click copy selection release this we'll drop here 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 drop here drop here drop here drop here drop here maybe maybe we may have another grid here drop here drop here drop here these are the places that we are proposing grid lines drop here see how it goes We we'll have a column here. We we'll have another one here. We need to have another column there. We can have a column there. Okay. Okay. It depends on you, the structural engineer, how you want to do your general arrangement. You can do it better than me. It's fine. Uh, places I'll place column and you will not like you feel there shouldn't be a column there I'll select this and I erase copy selection that's I want to create another layer there okay I have this Okay, what am I missing? What are we missing? What are we missing? Let's see this pan from here. 
to this place from here to here 6.2 let's have another grid somewhere here We'll offset this erase select this copy selection drop it there okay it's nice all right okay okay all right so let me delete this grid and see. Yes, we, this is our back one. This is where our back one is stopping. Good. So we have that. Let's take a look at our 3D. Okay, we have a back one there. Yeah, that is our back one. Good. This is our back one. Alright. So now we can be able to export. Can we can we select this our general arrangement plan and now export it to to proto structures for design analysis for design analysis so to export it to so now that you are finished putting your grids we are going to copy this to a fresh page you select everything here right click copy then you see here new, new drawing click in a new drawing you right click and you paste here if you like you can copy it to a new page before you start this if if you come here and it didn't show all it didn't you, you can't zoom in or zoom out you right click you just type region you click on this region or you, you, you immediately click on region or the the working environment now compress and now you are able to rep to see more of the views so the next thing so the next thing we are going to do is we'll save it as DXF so come to you can select it type W then it's in inches now you move it to millimeters then here now you can you, you make sure that this one is say DXF then we can say training project save training project then we'll we will now go and start our proto structures.